Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and we're going to be exploring World Showcase, looking for unique snacks and special drinks to try in every single country. This is one of my favorite types of videos to make and I cannot wait to see what we're going to try. So I figured we come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's let's go do this it is such a beautiful day to be hanging out in epcot's world showcase it's in the high 80s but there's a slight little breeze to keep you cool and i can't wait to just go around and explore I have done videos like this in the past and like I mentioned they're some of my favorite videos to make because it always amazes me the unique things that you can buy inside each of the country pavilions like they bring stuff from other countries and then sell it here so that you can kind of get a feel of what it's like going around the world and we tried some interesting things in the past like crab and squid flavored potato chips to unique like Kit Kat bars and they're always changing so they always have new stuff we're gonna stick to tradition and start in the United Kingdom and then go to Canada over to Mexico then to Norway then to China then to Germany then to Italy then to America and then of course Japan Morocco and France to cap it out and I like this rotation because it gives it a little bit of variety my goal is to try the most unique items that I can find and when I say unique I mean things that you wouldn't normally see for sale in like the United States you know what I mean like different flavored potato chips and different countries have different candy that they don't sell here and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to like China and Japan even the United Kingdom and there's always so many different options so they'll probably be all new things that I've never tried before because I plan on going to all 11 countries in World Showcase, we're only gonna spend a little bit of time in each country and then move along quickly, but our first stop is here in the United Kingdom. We're also going to keep track on how much we're spending so that we can add it all up at the end and see how much an experience like this costs. And this is also a fun thing to do if you want to like kind of do the around the world drinking thing but you don't like to drink. You can just go around the world eating candies and snacks. As you can see, they've got a lot of different snacks and candy bars here in the United Kingdom. I think last time I was here, I tried wine gums, like wine gummies. And here they've got uh, Taverns Licorice. They've got uh, Henry Goodies. They've got some fruit gums over here. They've got a lion bar. I've had tunics before. These are actually really, really good. I like those a lot. I don't know how much they're charging for these. Oh, $4.95 for those. And then they've got Milky Bar, uh, Jammy Dodgers. Jammy Dodgers just sounds really cool. Jammy Dodgers. And then uh, a couple of more bars over here. Another fun thing I usually like to ask is if you are from any of the countries that we're visiting today and you see the price of an item that we're purchasing, let me know how much it cost in that country compared to what I'm paying for it here in Walt Disney World at Epcot. I'm sure it's a uh, steep price hike, but you got to pay for the experience that you get walking around World Showcase, you know? They also have a bunch of shortbreads and biscuits over on this side, but the one thing that caught my eye was the uh, coronation of King Charles, like uh, the uh, collectible tin here from Walker's, and I've never had their shortbread. Now, this is a tin full of all butter shortbread uh, little snacks there, and I think I'm going to get it. It's limited edition. I don't know how much it costs. It doesn't have a price on it, but this is kind of unique. I decided on getting the King Charles limited edition coronation all buttered shortbreads, but I was kind of shocked at the price. It's $20 for this. I mean, I get that it's limited edition, but $20 for that. And then also I decided on getting these Henry's goodies, Curious Confectionery Company. 
Look at that, little black licorice. I've had black licorice before, but I've never had something like this. And this was $5.95. $5.95, $5 isn't that, that, that seems a little high. But you guys let me know because now I do know that things are a little bit cheaper since I went to London or been over to uh, Europe before. Typically, I'm only gonna be looking at getting one thing per country, but I already bought the licorices when I saw the shortbread. So we're only gonna count the licorice in as our you know, calculator to add up how much we spend. So $5.95. I don't know how much these cost back in the, the United Kingdom, but we have a bonus uh, shortbread uh, uh, test uh, on top of that. And also I wanna point out, look at the little mustache and the little mustache on the top of the bag there. How unique, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna crack into these. A little licorice, I actually do enjoy licorice. I like it, a lot of people. I mean, I enjoy black licorice. Oh wow, look at that. It's very strong. Very, very strong. Hmm. That's delicious. That's delicious black licorice right there. If you don't like black licorice, I'm sure, a lot of people are going to be like, this is disgusting. But it's also really cool to point out that there's a lot of licorice in there. So most of the things that I'm going to be doing today, you can do as like a family. You know what I mean? It's $5.95 for the whole family instead of per person. Now it's time to dive into the shortbreads there. Look at this. I thought there was going to be like some like special paperwork or something in there, but it's just a, a tin full of shortbreads. But it's fun because now I get to keep all my stuff in there, you know? I probably should have started with the shortbread because now all I'm going to do is taste uh, black licorice. <laughs> That's all I'm going to taste. And this one kind of looks like the shape of a pizza. Look at that. A little shortbread pizza. Don't mind if I do. These are butterly delicious. These are so delicious actually, but they make you very dry. I wish I got some tea or uh, a bottle of water. I do like these a lot, but I still do taste the black licorice. Enough of the shortbread business. It's time to move along. And I like what we started off with. I thought they were very unique. I mean, like I said, just because something's not unique to you doesn't mean it's not unique to me. And we'll get to crazier stuff once we get to like Norway and Japan and China. You'll see. It, it, it definitely gets a little bit uh, unique-er. And uh, now it's time to make our way uh, towards Canada. The last time I went to do this challenge, Canada wasn't open 100% percent yet it's still not open 100 percent yet but they do have the trading post open so you can hop in there and see what refreshments they have and then also i think uh the northwest mercantile yeah right here looks like they serve maple leaf hard candy and then also maple syrup that looks like it comes out of a miniature oil can and then they have maple like sugar spice right there and then the coffee crisp down here i had the coffee crisp last time i thought it was really good but i think this time i might be going with the uh the maple leaf hard candy look at that they used to give these out for free i believe so i don't even know how much these are Canada really doesn't have a lot for us to choose from and I have had uh, maple leaf hard candy before but I don't think I've ever had Jake Men's. Jake Man's and it's really cool it's $12.95 for this and if you look in the back of the nutritional like facts it looks different because it's from a different country so now we're gonna dive in I'm gonna grab myself a little hard candy oh look at that and they're little maple leaves wait a second look at that we're gonna try to take it out of the thing Look at this. That is so cool looking. So here we go. Hmm. Yeah, tastes like uh, tastes like maple. I don't know if I enjoy it. <laughs> I like the fact that they're in the shape of a maple leaf, but it, you know, it's kind of strange eating it as like a hard candy. It's a recognizable flavor because I know what maple tastes like, but letting it actually sit in your mouth for a while, I don't know if I enjoy that. <laughs> I love how all of the containers say like product of Canada on it and then on the licorice it says made in the UK. So it's kind of cool and now I think it's time to move along. So far we spent $5.95 and 12 
$12.95, yeah, $12.95 and then $5.95 I think it was. So we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. I have also been getting my annual pass discount on each of the items, but I have not been including that in the calculation because not everyone has annual passes. And now we have made it to Mexico. Three countries down and I think we're making great timing. Been here for just about an hour and a half. Once you get inside the Mexico Pavilion, they usually have stands that have interesting like sauces and candies. And I found a couple of really awesome candies right here that I think I'm gonna get. We've got goat milk candy with pecans, and then we've got caramel filled waffle cones. I think a wafer cones. I don't know why I said waffle, but these are so interesting and new. I am so excited. I know I said like one thing per country, but I found two things I've never even seen them sell before inside the Mexico Pavilion. And I know it was a little bit dark in there, so I'm going to show you now so you can see it a little bit better. Look at this. It's caramel filled wafer cones. And look at them in there. Look at what? This is so cool. And look at the nutritional facts. These are um, $3.49. That's not bad. That's super cheap. And then I also got the goat milk candy with pecans. Goat milk candy with pecans. And you get three pieces. Same thing, $3.49. This is cool. I can't wait to actually try them. I am way overdue to get a drink though because I need something. I'm eating all these candies and I think we're going to start off with the caramel filled wafer cones. Open these bad boys up. I don't want to break it though. I noticed some of them were already broken in there because they're little ice cream cones. So it's, it's you know what I mean, hard to keep them. They're so delicate. Oh boy. Opening up isn't as easy. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Oh, and they're individually wrapped too. So it keeps the caramel inside there. And there's a little rubber band on it. Look at it. It's literally held together by a little rubber band. Like a rubber band. Like there's an actual rubber band on your little cone there. There we go. Take this off. I don't know which way I should eat it though. Should I eat it from the top or should I eat it at the bottom? All right, I'm just going in. Here we go. Hmm. This is delicious. Wow. You ever have like the... Uh, ice cream cone cupcakes this is what it tastes like this is so good i gotta get the bottom looks like they only put the caramel at the top but it's not like your typical caramel it's something different it's got a different texture to it but i like this this is actually this is probably one of the best snacks i've had so far i like this a lot now that we've had a little caramel wafer cone, it's time for the goat milk chocolate or the goat milk candy? Goat milk candy, I don't even know if it's chocolate with pecans. It's just goat milk, it doesn't say chocolate. Goat milk candy. Let's see how it goes, I don't know. Glory as they say. Ooh. It kind of looks like the same stuff that's in the caramel there. Like the same color. We'll see, we'll give it a bite. I don't know how, I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't think I like it. <laughs> I kind of got hit by that off guard. Like I was expecting something to be kind of delicious, but no, no, not at all. Maybe it's the goat milk, I don't know. I mean, I've had like goat milk before in the past, but it has a very, very strong taste to it that isn't pleasant to my liking. I mean, other people might like it, but it really caught me off guard there. <laughs> no matter what, it's still an experience to try something that I've never got to try before. I mean, honestly, if I wasn't making this video right now, I don't think I'd ever purchase goat milk candy. Like, I don't think I'd ever do that. But now I got to at least say I tried it and I didn't like it. But the wa uh, the wafer cone, now that on the other hand, that was fantastic. And I'm really happy with everything we got to try here. It's time to move along and to Norway. And maybe we'll get like something to drink there instead of something to eat. Maybe they have like a special beverage in the back shop there. Next up, we've made our way to Norway, and we're going to make our way back to the back shops there. If they don't have anything there, then we're going to come back up and go to the bakery. In Norway, they have Anna's, which is, I think they're like little traditional, like, 
crackers or cookies. Little uh, Swedish things they are. And they have ginger or they have almond. And then that's about it really. So I think I might actually try these ginger ones. Yeah, oh, you know what? I don't know, I'm kind of in almond mode. Yeah, let's do, let's do the ginger. That's the one. So the Annas were $4.95 for a whole entire package and there's a lot in here and I uh, also got a bonus Voss. This is the only place where you can buy Voss in Disney because this was made in Norway. I was a little thirsty so I had to get a, I had to get a water but isn't that cool that they sell like water from Norway in Norway? Like that's the, that's the thing I like and we're actually eating this inside of the Viking or the gods of Vikings temple right here. It's really cool I like the setting so here we go drop in we, we did end up getting the ginger I know I'm a little uh, what would you call it uh, scatterbrain I'm like ginger almond back and forth oh I don't know how to oh these aren't resealable though that's gonna be tough to carry around oh they're very thin though very thin they're very thinny things in fact they're breaking apart I want to at least get one whole one out oh no I don't think I'm gonna get a whole one out oh yeah here we go one whole one out right there look at this and this is the ginger one, so here we go. Ginger snaps. These are very delicious, actually. I like these a lot because it's not overpowering on the ginger because they're so thin. So it's just like a hint ginger taste. But I wonder what that red line is for. I wonder if that's how I was supposed to open them. It's probably how I was supposed to open them. Last time I was here and I was doing a video like this, they had certain candy from Norway. I forget what they were called. These are more just Scandinavian, like Swedish, like Sweden. But uh, it's really cool how Disney like switches out things. You know what I mean? Like one day this will be here. So if you're looking to get any of these items, I can't guarantee that they'll be here when you come here. But they will always have something for you to try. And I think that adds to it. Now I want to drink my boss. I can open it. Ooh. Nice Norwegian water. Voss is made in Norway. It even says it right on the bottle there. And now we have made our way to China. And uh, this is where some of the very interesting items will be. I can't wait to explore and see the different potato chip selections. They're usually my go-to whenever I come here. In the back of House of Good Fortune, they have a big variety of different uh, potato chips with some unique flavors. Like down here, you can see we have a squid flavored one. I've had that before. And then you've got an Italian red meat, Italian red meat flavor, and then Mexican chicken tomato. And there's so many different ones. Over here, you have some Cheetos. This is beef flavored Cheetos. I've had that before. And then some of them, you really can't tell what the flavors are because they don't have any English on them really and uh, they the only way you know is by the picture so these are bugles and that looks like I don't know is it steak I don't know if it's steak or pork or something and then these bugles I don't even know what that is either I'm interested I am very interested in the bugles they have so many different flavors Right now, they're actually doing a special spring limited edition uh, series. And some of these are some wild names. Like right here is octopus meatball flavored potato chips. Octopus meatball flavored potato chips. And then they have a beef wellington flavored potato chip. Beef wellington. I mean, I feel like I gotta try the octopus meatball. This one's fried crab, fried crab. And then this one is roasted garlic oyster flavor. Roasted garlic, it's like some of them have the name on it. You can see it right here, but a lot of them don't. All right, I am in my favorite little nook here in the China Pavilion and I've gotten some very good selections and I'm a little nervous uh, If you guys have watched any of my videos before like this, you know my long-running history with the chips in China Sometimes they're very delicious other times they they're just not my favorite thing in the world. I, I usually am like, oh my lord, let me grab something quick to drink it. So I got myself two types of chips and a drink. First, I got the grilled, not grilled, the octopus meatball flavored Lay's potato chips. Octopus meatball flavored. And then also these bugles, because I've never seen them have bugles before. Usually they just have like uh, Cheetos, but these bugles, I couldn't understand what the flavor was. So I was going around asking like, what's the flavor? And the first person I went up to, they're like, oh, that's charcoal. And I was like, oh, maybe 
charcoal. I'm like, I don't even understand that. So then I asked somebody else and they're like, oh, it's charcoal. So basically it's just charcoal flavored. That's literally what it is. And I Googled it, like I used Google Lens and it says charcoal flavor. So we don't know what to expect there, but I also got, um, it looks like it's uh, maybe a juice or some kind of carbonated beverage. Now it does say there's like a little pineapple on it. There's a pineapple on there. And then I think down here it says 10%. So I'm thinking it's like pineapple juice maybe. Maybe it's like uh, uh, like a, a pineapple soda maybe. And it says 1982. So we got that as our in between. So let's just get right to it. Let's just get right down to the chip business. I normally really like just the regular plain bugles, so I'm kind of excited to try charcoal flavor. And like I said, I was trying to find the name or the flavor of any of these, and it's not there. <laughs> okay, I don't know where I should start off with. I really don't think I'm gonna like the meatball, the octopus meatball. I don't think I'm gonna like it, so I don't know if I should start with that or the bugles. I think I'm gonna like the bugles, but either way, I'm gonna crack open the soda. Oh, my Manta. I think I broke it. Oh wait, no, you have to pull it? Oh, you have to, what? <laughs> that was actually really cool. Holy moly. I, I don't know if I, I was supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, well at least I got that ready. All right, bugles first. I made an executive decision here. My mom used to always say, you guys see the air? See the air? Oops. They smell pretty good. You want to see it on the inside there? That's a little bugles. Tell me how many kids used to do this with their bugles growing up. I used to do this all the time. <laughs> oh, we're gonna only put two because we don't know what we're gonna eat, but here we go, charcoal bugles. These are great. These are amazing. I really can't relate to like charcoal. Like I would think charcoal being like maybe steak flavor, but I don't taste that that much. I, I taste mostly just like traditional bugles, but with a little bit of something else. I, I can't pinpoint it, but I wouldn't say steak or chicken. I don't know. It looks like there's, I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks like a steak or it looks like a very nice grilled pork chop either way. But I like these. Okay. Now, for the octopus meatballs. And so random, it has 163 calories in this. 163. Isn't that such a random number? Limited edition. No. No. Oh Lord. <laughs> I should have smelt it first. Oh boy. There it is. Okay. Getting the chips ready. I'm getting. All right, I'm getting. I'm getting the drink ready. Here we go. Lots of seasoning on there. Ooh, it's very pineapple-y. I can't say I'm a fan. Just like every other like flavored Lay's potato chips, the the uh, like seasoning flavor is only for like the first like three seconds, and then it just tastes like a regular potato chip. So it's really easy to power through it. But uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I don't think I like it. I don't like the octopus meatball flavor. But I am gonna try it one more time. Don't get me wrong, I love octopus and I like meatballs, but as a flavoring on a potato chips, usually it doesn't actually taste like the thing that they say it is. But I'm gonna give it one more shot. It's not as bad the second time around. I think the first one was like the initial shock. I still wouldn't get them. <laughs> I still wouldn't eat them though. This drink though is so good. I really like this a lot. And I'm glad that it wasn't anything else. Like I remember last time I got a drink and I was using it to like wash down the bad flavored potato chips. And then all of a sudden it was absolutely horrible. It was so bad. So like I was trying to wash down something with something that also needed to get washed down with. 
Enough of the octopus meatball potato chip flavor business. It's time we made our way to Germany here. And I'm sure we're gonna find some interesting items in here as well. I'm kind of very excited. I always love Germany. They usually have pretty amazing chocolate. Looks like they've got a big selection of different candies here. We've got uh, Herman German important German candy, Bavarian fruit assortments. This sounds like something immediately I need to try, but they have other stuff too. Like I don't know what this is. Looks pretty cool. Look at that. And then down here we have double crunch peanuts. That looks interesting as well. I don't know, I feel like I should just stick to the Bavarian fruit assortment here. I feel like that's perfect, exactly what we're looking for. $7.99 for this bag though. It is getting super hot out and I was in Germany and I was looking at those uh, Herman the German Bavarian like fruits and I was going to get those but I looked on the back of the package and it said that it was from Chicago. So I didn't want to get that so instead I ended up picking up something that I couldn't understand and I've got these Zartarvarschlen. Zartarvarschlen. I'm not very good at speaking German but um, it's Osbach and it's brandy and chocolate. I wasn't gonna get any alcohol, but I didn't know after until after I bought it. Now these were $11.95 and they're little bottles of chocolate with uh, brandy inside of it. So that's what we're doing here in Germany. I'm kind of excited about it. I, <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. They ID'd me and uh, we're gonna go for it. Let's see, I'm gonna open it up. Now someone, uh, I ran into a friend after I was leaving who happened to work in Germany and they said you have to bite the top of the bottle off and then drink the, the brandy. So here we go. <laughs> Holy moly. That's like a straight shot. Look, it's literally hollow. Oh my lord. Oh, oh. It's literally taking a shot and then eating chocolate. What? I'm not even kidding when I say there is like, I feel like a shot inside there. Like it's just hollow and the liquor's just inside there, the brandy. I gotta look at this package here. It was still, it was very delicious. It just caught me off guard because I thought it was gonna be like liquor inside the chocolate, you know? Like liquor, like in, like cooked into the chocolate. <laughs> I probably should have just stuck to the Herman Germans uh, little fruits, but it was kind of a cool unique experience. I feel like that's more unique, but, but it was besides the point of doing stuff where you don't have to drink. Now there are other options there, so when you do come to Germany and you check it out, maybe just want to get one of those uh, price tags. And that was, uh, I think like I said, $11.95. Well, that was definitely a unique experience and now we finally made our way over to Italy. I think this is so pretty. I think Italy is one of the prettiest pavilions. Italy and Morocco, honestly, look at it. Especially during Flower and Garden Festival. The last time I did a video like this, they had really cool little desserts over here in Italy. Like they had little donuts and stuff, but it looks like they got rid of all of them. The only candy I see are like limoncello candies and then sour lemon candies. I don't know if I want the sour one. So you can choose between sugar-free or sour. I think I might go the sugar-free route. Well, that's so disappointing. Last time, Italy had some of the best offerings. Like I said, they had little donuts and little cakes and stuff like that. And now, all I found was little imaluke. I, I can't read. I can't pronounce things out. I think it's good. But like little lemon uh, candies. That's it. And there were $3.99 for these. $3.99. Sugar-free though. Sugar-free. I think they're individually wrapped too. Hopefully they are. Because I get to keep the stuff that's individually wrapped. Oh yeah. Oh, what is this? Why has it got a little red tag on it? What's that red tag mean? All of them have little red tags on it. I can't read it though, because it's not in English. I guess that's what you just pull off like that? Oh, maybe that just says that it's sugar free. I don't know, but here we go. They're nice. They're okay. It's like a little hard candy. A little lemon, a little lemon hard candy. I don't mind it. You got another water too, because it's super hot out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait a second. I 
cut a couple of those in there. We got lemonade. Making myself a little lemon flavored water. I like that. I gotta remember that it's in there and I don't choke on it. Now we have made it to America and I'm sorry Italy was a little disappointing They didn't have a lot to offer and there's not much I can get in America I don't even think they sell like candy or anything in any of these booths They don't even have like a proper gift shop because they have the art of Disney store And then they have this little kiosk over here, but there's never anything in it So we might just jump jump to Japan I've been saving all of my uneaten snacks and I'm gonna be meeting up with some friends in a little bit And I'm gonna try to get them to try some of them. <laughs> that's the point I mean anything that's individually wrapped I can just keep but like the milk chocolate and stuff like that melts very fast and the potato chips kind of stink up Everything in the bag, so it's not the greatest of combinations here is Japan and this is also a very unique one right here because they have some of the best flavors Kit Kats and different types of potato chips as well and I'm excited I'm excited to see what they have new Take a look at all of this candy they have over here. They have so many different flavored Kit Kats. They've got cheesecake here, probably double chocolate there. They have matcha, green tea ones. They've got vanilla, vanilla. They've got strawberry. They've got orange, orange right here in chocolate. They've got melon Kit Kats. Melon Kit Kats sounds interesting. I don't know what those are, but these ones are sweet red bean. Sweet red bean Kit Kats. I'm kind of interested in those. I don't even know what these are. These look really interesting. Holy moly. Last time I was here, I tried these crabs. These whole crabs right here. I actually ate one of them. And they have like their little pinchers on there and everything. You just eat it just the way it is. It's like a soft shell crab. And it got stuck in my throat. And it, I felt it like clawing down my throat. It was one of the most traumatic experiences I think I've ever <laughs> I've ever been through and then they've got a lot of other stuff over here too shrimp chips rice cakes lots of different stuff all kind of interesting I decided on not getting the squid this time I'm actually taking an easy here in uh, Japan but I did get two different versions of Kit Kat first nice. I got the melon Kit Kats which I'm interested in because it's melon and then also I've never had this before, but it's very popular in Japan, but it's uh, sweet red beans. Sweet red beans, and this is like a Kit Kat. Sweet red beans. Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of, I'm really interested. And uh, these are all individually packaged too, so we get to actually hang on to these, and they won't melt like super fast. Let me see. Oh yeah, look at that. And this one, uh, compared to the other one, this has no markers or identification. Like it doesn't say sweet red bean on there. I actually had to ask. This one, it says melon right on the package. I ran up with my friend Sean and then Piano Rob, and um, they're actually gonna try the uh, red bean Kit Kat in mochi, I think it is. It's unique. You sure it's red bean? I asked like multiple times and they said it's very good. Right? good yeah what is that face now I'm scared so, good. so Rob is saying it tastes just like uh, white like chocolate white chocolate with, with a little chewy filling that's good like yeah good chewy filling. Sean is not a fan I was not a Sean fan. is not a fan I, it I gotta try it now oh yeah we're gonna try the melon the after this now. Yeah, I know I am the tiebreaker little beanie there is something different in there it's not bad though. It's not horrible. I, didn't say it was horrible. I can't pick out a specific taste though. Yeah. yeah. I can't describe it's it. Like either, a, so I it's like honestly like kind of like a bland taste, really. Yeah. Like a, it's just chewy. Yeah. Very interesting. Now we gotta try the melon. It actually looks like a melon. It's orange, and as soon as I open it up, I immediately smelt it. And it does smell like melon, so I'm excited to dive in. Break me off a piece of that. Fancy feast. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Break me off a piece of that. Come on. Come on. I was trying to think. That is very unique. It's good though. Yeah. But like it is super melony. 
but it's a Kit Kat. Yeah, and it's it, a Kit Kat. It has Kit Kat consistency. I like this one better. It tastes like a Kit Kat. No, it, like, it feels like, like a Kit Kat. It feels like a Kit Kat. Tastes like a melon. That's a slogan. <laughs> feels these like much, a Kit Kat. These are much better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has some I flavor. Agree. You're not questioning what you put in your mouth. and It's yeah. interesting. I like them. I definitely enjoyed the Kit Kat experience and now we made our way over to Morocco but unfortunately I don't think they opened up any more shops like there's nothing in the back here where they sell anything I can get like traditional like desserts from the Tangerine Cafe but that's just for flower and garden so I don't know I think we might just have to skip this and make our way to France on unfortunately I feel like Morocco hasn't been the same uh, since after the pandemic and I hope that they open up the shops and bring back the restaurant that's in the back there and it will be complete again and the second they do that I'll be a back out here to make this type of video until then we're in France our last stop in the France pavilion they don't have many options to uh, choose from but they do have a nougat and then they have these rose like mints I had the rose mints before but they did add these caramels de France and uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go with made with fresh butter sea salt and uh, some other really interesting ingredients that I can't read this is it, our final little uh, snack of the day. And we got a box full of caramels. Lots of caramel today. That's what I do have to say. I sound like Dr. Seuss right now. <laughs> Lots of caramels today, I do have to say. And open it up a little bit. Hopefully these are, oh, they're not individually wrapped. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. There we go. We'll compare these. Oh, they're very soft. Almost like a Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll? Yeah, there we go. Oh wow, that's actually amazing. Hey, how are ya? It's very soft, very delicious. These are great, wow. But the only downside is uh, they were $16.95, the most expensive thing that we bought today. So sadly, I was trying to keep our total down low. Sorry, I still got a caramel, a caramel caramel, however you wanna say it, but $16.95 for our last snack to really put our uh, total cost up there. I didn't add it up. I'll probably add it up when I'm editing this, but yeah. I've met up with some of my friends who are trying some of my snacks from the day. The octopus, it's not bad. Octopus meatballs. It does, it goes, it, when you taste it, it only lasts for like a second or two and then it just tastes like a regular chip. It's really salty. Yeah, right? My first impression was like kind of the same way. I was like, mm, I don't know if I like it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's caramels. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, those, right? It's like a Tootsie Roll. It's so soft and delicious. Yeah. Okay, but Kristen, you're going to try the goat, the goat milk candy with pecans. Now, it's not goat milk chocolate, it's goat milk candy. Is it just milk or is there actual like goat meat in here? I don't know. It's from Mexico. How did I get voted to try this one? Uh, I had to try the caramel. Yeah, you don't like it either. It's got like a weird taste to it, right? It's not as bad as I expected, as they made it seem to be. Yeah, but it, maybe because I gave you the fair warning. But I literally <laughs> just ate that like it was a candy. <laughs> yeah, I literally ate that like, oh, this is candy. It's going to be good. Like, I wouldn't take a second bite, but it's, I was able to swallow it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Okay, I am back home now and Gracie is probably gonna be running down the steps any second now and my friend sent me a gift and I think it's really cool and I want to surprise Gracie with it so we're gonna have to do it quick before she gets down here. Dang it, she came down too quick. I had a surprise for you. That's okay, I think we could still do it. I gotta wait. You wanna go outside? You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go for a walk. Yeah, come on. Okay, she ran back upstairs, but this is the surprise. Look at this. <laughs> my friend sent me this. Look at It's a gigantic Dalmatian. Oh, my Lanta. Holy moly. She is going to either be completely afraid or she's going to love it. Come on, you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Huh? You want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. It's 
okay. It's okay. <laughs> And with that, we are done here today. I'm gonna keep you posted on Gracie and uh, how she interacts with our new uh, friend in the house. And we'll, you know, we'll give you some updates. I'm, she usually takes a second to get used to anything new. I mean, honestly, if I put the vacuum cleaner in the room in the wrong spot, she'll just side eye it the whole entire time. But anywho's, I had a great day today at Epcot, going around exploring all of the snacks around World Show case let me know which one was your favorite and i'm gonna keep doing videos like that i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and i hope you enjoyed this one so we'll see you next time bye